This video is brought to you by me, Robert the Duke Fedora. In addition to my freelance ServiceNow architecture consulting, I also do recruitment. If you need talent, hit me at the email address here. My network is vast, and I know all the ServiceNow roles from personal experience. I don't send candidates unless they're totally legit. And if you're looking to level up, I offer free career coaching, as well as resume reviews to any candidates that use me as a recruiter. I placed four candidates in January alone, all with significant pay raises. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of ServiceNow Toolbox. My name is Robert Fedoric. It is so good to have you here. Today I'm going to teach you how to use Flow Designer to launch a catalog item from an email. But plot twist, we are actually going to extract variable data from the body of the email. This video will have five sections. Number one, why? Number two, but why not? Number three, the main problem, number four, the setup, and number five, the prestige. Let's start with why. Because seriously, why do I want to create a catalog item from an email? Look, from my perspective, a catalog item is just a way to trigger a known workflow. It outlines what inputs are necessary and what flows to launch. That it requires a form to input is just a bias from the era that the service catalog was invented. But today we have all kinds of inputs that aren't form based. We have virtual agent, we have other workflows, and we have integrations, especially the poor man's integration, email. And look, even ServiceNow agrees with me on this. By virtue of the fact that catalog items can be both a trigger and an action in Flow Designer. When I'm deploying ServiceNow solutions, I always think about catalysts. What is the thing that causes this work to start? And sometimes that start is email, just is. If you wanna learn more on the topic of catalysts, check the description below really fast, and I'll have a link to the CJ and the Duke podcast where Corey and I break that concept down. And now you're probably thinking, Robert, why don't we just use inbound actions? That's what we always used to do for incoming email. And it pre-parses the email body so that we can extract name value pairs from the email to use as variables. And that's a great question. But here's why I want that in Flow Designer. Number one, inbound action is 100% script. That makes it immediately much more expensive and much more vulnerable to mistakes. Second, I might want lots of things to happen when I receive a certain email, not just the triggering of the catalog item. And while I may be able to script all those things, it's just faster and easier for a lot more people to do it via Flow Designer. But now that we got that out of the way, you're probably thinking, shouldn't this be really easy? And yes, using email as a trigger is super easy. And yes, launching catalog items from Flow Designer is super easy, but here's what's hard. Inbound actions pre-parse the body of the email for us to extract name value pairs and let us use those variables via the script. There is no out of box way to do this in Flow Design. But wait, can't I just grab the email body from the trigger section of the flow and then use the get values from name value pairs option in the transform menu? Well, many have tried and the reason they fail is clear from the small print. It states, if input data is not name values or name value pairs, the data is not transformed at runtime. In other words, if it's not already an object of name value pairs, then it's not going to work. So the most important part of this solution is finding a way to parse that email body so that we can use the name value pairs inside of it as variables for a catalog item. Okay, let's talk setup. I know I'm gonna need a sample email to test with. I'm just gonna reprocess this record I got here. But a couple things to notice, take a look at the body you'll see that there's tons of name value pairs in there. And we're expecting to extract values for these variables. First task, second task, and third task. We also know we're gonna need a catalog item with which to launch from email. I've got one here called email triggered complex item. Just like traditional catalog item flows, it is triggered via service catalog, then it gets the variables, and then it creates SC tasks. We'll know this works if the subject line comes out correctly because the subject line is just writing a variable there. You'll notice over here that the catalog item is expecting three variables, first task, second task, and third task. So we'll also know we've been successful if these three variables are populated on the requested item. And remember, our sample email had those as labels of name value pairs in the email body. And we know we're gonna need something that Flow Designer doesn't already have to parse that email body for name value pairs. Now to solve that problem, this is precisely why you would use a new action added to Flow Designer. Now, 
we are not going to break down how to build this action in this video. If you're not an aspiring developer, this is something you would want a developer to build or download from Share. If you're an aspiring developer, this is an excellent problem to deconstruct on your own while getting valuable practice from Flow Designer. So for the purpose of this video, we have downloaded an excellent custom action for Flow Designer from ServiceNow Share. Shout out to its author, Benjamin Sharer. Hope I pronounced that right. Links to the share item and Ben's profile will be in the description below. Now for the aspiring developers who want to take a crack at this themselves, I'm not going to show you Ben's code, but I will tell you exactly what the code does. First, it removes HTML tags. Second, it finds the name value pairs in the body of text. Then it adds those name value pairs into an object. That's the output of the action. And lastly, it removes any lines that aren't name value pairs. A quick tutorial if you've never used Share before. First of all, you go to developer.servicenow.com, then you click the connect menu, and then you click Share. The item you're looking for is called Parse Email Flow Action. Then you're just gonna wanna click this download button. Then from any list in ServiceNow, right click and say import XML. Grab your freshly downloaded Parse Email Flow Action XML, and then preview and commit it just like you would any other update set. And now it's gonna show up in Flow Designer under Actions, named Parse Email Body Text. Now that we finally got the action we need, let's do the build. We know we needed a catalog item with which to launch from email. This is a typical run-of-the-mill service catalog item flow. We don't do anything special with this. All I want you to note here is that the catalog is expecting these three variables. First task, second task, and third task. Now, what we also need is a flow that will listen for email and launch the catalog item. This is all very standard flow designer stuff. We've got an inbound email trigger here. I'm just looking for an email that contains complex, but of course, when you do this, you'll be a lot more specific, right? Right? Okay, then we plug in our parse email body text, which is the custom flow action we either developed on our own or pulled down from share. And all this needs is an email object to plug in, which I'm gonna grab from the trigger, trigger, email record. Now in Flow Designer, our variables are stored in this section, which is storing the output of that custom action. Okay, now that the parse email body action is getting the name value pairs for me, I am going to extract them and put them in the catalog item request. You see the catalog item request wants these three values populated. So I'm gonna take the email variables property from the parse email body text object. I'm gonna click this function field. We are going to find the get item from name values transform. And then I'm gonna to go to the key and put in third task. I could also put something in default and this is what it will output if it doesn't find a third task key in my name value pairs. save. So if this works, we should have successfully launched a catalog item that has variables that are pulled from the body of this email. So now it's time for the prestige. Here I have the email up. We're just going to hit this reprocess email. It shows us that an event has been created to process that email. Now I'm going to go into my flow designer and see the executions. We'll first look at the order catalog item from email flow. Here we see an ex a successful execution that happened just now. So if it's a successful execution, it must have also triggered the catalog flow. Here I am in the catalog flow. Let's look at executions. And we see that one minute ago, this flow launched as well. If I pull up the latest created requested item, we see that the variables have been successfully populated with what it found in the email body. And so there you have it, folks. Using Flow Designer, we were able to take an inbound email, extract name value pairs as variables from its body, and use those variables in a launch catalog item flow action. Thanks for watching. As always, the ServiceNow Toolbox is looking for sponsors and content partners. Sponsors will receive a 30 second pre roll of their brand message on every video in the SN Toolbox for that month. Content partners will receive a portion of that ad revenue for helping me write the scripts for the show. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Do you want your message in front of the best ServiceNow admins, developers, architects, and product owners in the business?
Want a conversation about your ServiceNow strategy and architecture? You can reach me via my website at www.theduke.digital. If you want to contribute to high-frequency, high-quality ServiceNow content, all you need to do is feed the algorithm with likes, shares, and comments. Thanks for watching.